Hi guys, welcome to Charlie Adventures. Thanks for joining us on this trip. We are in the Dominican Republic. Let's go check it out. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, we will be sharing our recent experience at an all-inclusive resort in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. We'll talk about the resort, the beach, the pool, show you some of the restaurants we've been to, excursions, and much more. We've included chapter links in the video description below, so feel free to skip ahead if there's a particular topic you're interested in. Let's get started. We booked our all-inclusive vacation package through Costco Travel. There were a few choices for Punta Cana, and we decided to go with Barcelo Barbaro Palace. Their website makes it easy to book. You can review lots of information about each resort. After selecting the property, it brings you to choosing your room, followed by your round-trip flights. One thing that's nice about booking through Costco Travel is that the airport transfer to the hotel is almost always mm -hmm. included in the package. If not, it usually doesn't cost much more and you can skip the hassle of trying to find a taxi or car service to your hotel. Don't forget to check for any immigration requirements or restrictions for the country you are traveling to. Once our airport transfer dropped us off at the lobby, we were welcomed with this grand hotel vibe. This resort property is huge. It's one of the largest and most complete all-inclusive resort in the Caribbean. The property is so big, you'll get tired just walking around. Good thing they have free shuttles that circle the property with multiple stops. We had a joy ride in the shuttle just to get a tour of the place and we were amazed by all the facilities of this complex. They had a sister resort right next door called Barcelo Bovaro Beach, which is adults only. Are you planning everything? We've stayed at adults only resorts in the past, but this time we decided on a family friendly resort but you do get access to both resorts if you want to. There is a fitness center and a wellness spa and even a beauty salon. Right above the spa is a nice terrace where you can relax away from the crowd and enjoy the view of the ocean and the pools. All right, we're heading to our room now. That's cool. I do like that I can use this as my key card. We got a junior suite with partial ocean view. The room is pretty decent size. The bed is comfortable and there's plenty of furniture and storage space for all of your belongings. We are at an all-inclusive resort and here on our patio, there's a jacuzzi and a privacy screen and our view. Since this is an all-inclusive resort, you get snacks, coffee and drinks in your room that is part of the package. It gets refilled every day during housekeeping. Presidente, el sabor original de la cerveza dominicana. Now let's head to the beach. We had access to Bavaro Beach, which belongs to the property. The beach spans quite a big area with plenty of lounge chairs. You won't have to worry about not finding a place to sit. They also had beach volleyball and some games. During a booking, we got a high sargassum advisory. 
our resort did a great job cleaning up and keeping the beach mostly sargassum free. There's a little bit of seaweed, but nothing out of the ordinary. package includes non-motorized watercraft rentals such as kayak, surfboards, and paddle boats. More activities are available for additional costs. They also have a diving school by the beach, which you can sign up and take a scuba diving course and maybe learn how to sail. I checked the weather forecast almost every day the week before we left and it always showed the same thing. Scattered thunderstorms every day. But I wasn't worried because I know the tropical Caribbean weather is very unpredictable. It rained the moment we landed in Punta Cana and it continued raining on the way from the airport to the resort. But once we checked in, it was very sunny and beautiful. The weather has a similar pattern every day that we were there. Mostly sunny, hot and humid, maybe a heavy rain and thunderstorm in the afternoon, and then it was nice again. The main restaurants are all you can eat international buffet style. They're open for a few hours during breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What's interesting with these two restaurants is that the buffet areas are connected. You can walk over to either side and get food, and they do serve some slightly different items. This sharing of kitchen helps the resort with staffing and they can better control the quality of food and timing of refills. We noticed several other restaurants also share the salad bar and appetizers buffet. Next, we have a la carte restaurants. These are full service dining restaurants with a set menu. They require reservations, which can be done in person or by calling the concierge desk. We recommend deciding early on which restaurant you would like to eat at and which night. Tables get booked up really fast. One thing we learned from a previous stay at another all-inclusive resort regarding a la carte restaurants. Even though they have a set menu you can choose dishes from, you might not be restricted to just one appetizer, one soup, one entree, and one dessert. Yeah, that's how we ordered at first. And then our waiter was like, okay, what else? And we're like, can we add the pasta also? And he actually added it to the order. The portions are not as big as typical restaurant, so maybe they expected people to order a few things to try, which is awesome. Keep in mind though that some restaurants might have a dress code for dinner. I actually forgot to bring a pair of casual shoes, so I walked in with sandals and they didn't say anything. I'm sure that's not super enforced as long as you don't show up in your swimsuit. If you want something to eat between breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or if you want to try other things, you can head to other eateries and bars around the property.
This resort has multiple pools. There is a gigantic main pool which stretches the entire length of the main building. And this one is available for everyone. If they have a group activity or schedule entertainment, it happens on a part of this pool. Next to this is another pool with swimming lanes and water polo. My favorite part about this main pool is the swim up bar. I mean, what's better than soaking up the sun and cooling off in the water while enjoying unlimited drinks? There is another pool that's adults only. It's one of the smaller pools, but there's plenty of space. There are some water fountains on the side and this cool jacuzzi in the middle. This pool is more quiet since kids aren't allowed in here, but I imagine it could get pretty rowdy if more adults showed up with drinks in their hand. When it comes to entertainment on this property, you will not run out of things to do. The main property has a bowling center, a pool hall, a casino, and a club. If you walk a little bit out or take the free shuttle, you can have access to the mini golf, tennis court, and water park, perfect for families. There's this huge theater in the main building by the lot. In the evening time, there's always some kind of show on the schedule. On this evening, they had a Michael Jackson pre-show where they invited guests to come up on stage and compete for the best MJ impression. It was quite funny and embarrassing. Some of them were actually pretty talented. shows that we attended were quite nice. The decorations are good and the entertainers are professional. We had a good time just sitting back, relaxing with the drink, and just winding down after dinner. After checking in at the resort, the staff will tell you to go meet with the Costco travel representative at their office to arrange the transfer back to the airport on the day we leave. That's when they try to sell you on some activities and excursions. The rep asked us what kind of activity we would like to do. And we were thinking of just staying in and enjoying this huge resort. Then he said, okay, sounds like fun but at least consider this one. He showed us a pamphlet from Sharky Catamarans and it had a floating kitchen. I thought that's unique and something we haven't seen. I was already sold when I saw that floating bar. The only thing I worried about was the rain and sure enough, it was pouring hard when we were waiting for the shuttle. It was a four hour event they came to pick us up with a van that is shared with people from other resorts. Fortunately, it stopped raining when we got to the starting point. We checked
checked in and we were told to wait another 10 minutes or so because there was another van on the way to drop off more people for our boat. Once everyone arrived, we headed to the beach to board a shuttle boat, which will take us to the bigger boat that couldn't dock on the beach. As soon as everyone was on board, the crew introduced themselves and gave us a quick safety briefing and we were on our way. Immediately we started enjoying this boat ride. The weather turned out to be really beautiful and the water was crystal clear. The first activity was snorkeling. We had a great time swimming with the fish. After that, the coconut guy came on board and served us fresh coconut juice. Then the staff turned it into a Coco Loco by adding sugar, rum, and ice. It was time for lunch. We drove by the floating kitchen. They had been preparing food for us and now it's time to eat. to my favorite part, swimming in a natural pool with the floating bar. Everyone was just hanging out, enjoying the drinks and having fun. This is not shallow. <laughs> I'm not touching the ground anymore. I'm not shallow. Not now I am. Mama Juana, let's go. We had so much fun on this trip and met some amazing people. We learned a lot from others sharing their stories and adventures with us. We're so glad we went on this excursion. No regrets at all. Usually when we go out of town, we bring our own kit with travel-sized everything. Most decent hotels will provide you with at least a basic shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. But I have sensitive skin, so I like to bring my own. But if you forgot something or don't want to pack a lot, you'll be able to buy pretty much anything you need from a resort like this. The first floor underneath the main lobby is almost like a mall. It is lined up with shops from the convenience store with all your necessities, liquor and cigars, branded clothing, luggage, novelty items, and of course, gifts and souvenirs. We did buy a few souvenirs at the gift shop. The prices were pretty reasonable, not overly expensive for most things. Of course, you will most likely find the same things for a little bit cheaper outside the resort. They actually have a free shuttle that would take you to downtown Punta Cana, where all the tourists go shopping. Although you can haggle and get things for cheaper, you do run the risk of getting gypped, so be careful of that. One popular travel tip is to shop using your home currency as much as possible, like the US or Canadian dollar, instead of the local currency like the Dominican peso. Mm -hmm. That way, 
you know what you're bargaining for and you have a better idea if something is worth your money or not. Well, this was our trip in the Dominican Republic. We had an amazing time and we look forward to the next resort experience. So what do you guys think? Do you have any recommendations for tropical destinations or all-inclusive resorts? If so, please let us know down in the comment section below. As always, thank you for watching and uh, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more of our content, please hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.